here in Morgantown today, a pair of sides that are three and five, and that means they each would have to win three of their last four games to get bowl eligibility. Looking left now, looking for a lane to run, and he'll drop it down the middle, caught at the five-yard line, first and goal. The push towards the goal line and in. Touchdown, Henry, on the 11th play of the drive, and they go three for three on third down. If he has a drop or makes a mistake, keep his confidence going, because if he can, like they're trying to do now, start him early, he can have a big game. Deep down the middle for their deep ball throw. The Florida State, State transfer, George Campbell, down to the five. Well, because at least one of the top four unbeatens will lose with LSU playing Alabama this afternoon. Duffy, that's a man in stride at midfield and gone. That's your announcer. Dalton Rigdon. And what a quick strike for Duffy and the Red Raiders, 81 yards. Yeah, you're going to have Norwood right in the middle here. Norwood just gets a little bit testy here, getting his eyes on the inside fake and wide open down the middle. Has not been good for either team defending that. Big play, Texas Tech. And now how does West Virginia respond here? Kendall out of the gun. Incomplete. Looking for Campbell, and it popped up, taken the other way by Texas Tech. Douglas Coleman, a nose for the football with his eighth interception of the season, tops it in the country. And a 30-yard return. Well, Austin Kendall puts a tight throw right here, and he's trying to hit that window, and you got to catch the ball. It bounces wow. off the hands of the wow. receiver, and it just, just goes to show you. Douglas Coleman literally has been around the football the entire year, and it's just his time. No matter what's going on, he is around the passing game. Going forward on fourth, Henry, first down, lunches, touchdown. Fourth and 11, and they're show and go. Kendall, pressure coming, hit, incomplete, and Texas Tech will take over Rico Jeffers. Made the play. There's been some wide open receivers on multiple series that West Virginia is not finding or picking up. A little confusion here early on. Boy, and Jeff Duffy is really confident right now with his group of receivers, R.J. Turner. Second and goal. They'll run it again, up the gut, touchdown. Thompson and a flag down. Offsides coming on West Virginia, so it should stand for Austin Kendall and an offense desperate to put up seven points and try and get back into this. Trip play and the catch at the goal line and in. Kennedy McCoy from Isaiah Ensdale, 24 yards and a touchdown. Brown hasn't had much to cheer about yet here in Morgantown, but they're trying to help out their defense. They could use a stop, and Duffy's got a man down the middle. And bouncing down to the 20 is Travis Kuntz, the 6'5 tight end. Oh. Up the middle, touchdown, Sir Roderick Thompson from two yards out. This team to get some first downs. Kendall with plenty of time. He's got a man deep. And it is caught on the run around midfield, Sam James to wait for it, but was able to haul it in. Slinging it downfield, good catch. George Campbell, first down inside the 35-yard line. Texas Tech drop it back deep, and protect and cover underneath, and did Jordan Brooks just force a fumble? Brooks has it. Down to the West Virginia 30-yard line. Winston Wright had it, and Brooks took it. Cold, but bright and sunny day here, and another deep ball and wide open as Sam James had to wait for it again, and catches it and takes it down to the 15. You got speed at the receiver. You don't have to worry about 
Goes big pass. Flea flicker pass. into the end zone, short, and it's picked off. Demarcus Fields takes it all the way back out to the 35, and the fourth turnover, and the booze now descending. has it diving down inside the 10-yard line. But they'd love to be able to establish that run game. About Dagey or Kendall moving forward. This guy might have a lot to say about that. Swing pass, touchdown, Tony Mathis. Now a final, Texas Tech. Uh, Matt Wells come to town and beat West Virginia 38-17.